Hi guys, welcome back to my XVS video. Now I'm gonna talk about the banner which is gonna come on this week. So first, let's talk about Coral. So I can say his normal form is nothing interesting, okay? Sure, he able to deal some nice thing like 130% light and dark imperil and don't forget 87% defense break. But again, wow, 87% defense break on global we have Venera okay I know Venera is limited but still we have yes like you have guessed Cacteria Cacteria is really superior compared to Coral and I can say that Coral is kind of like poor man's version of Cacteria because sure Coral able to break but only 80% so yes again Coral is inferior in terms of break and yes, in terms of offensive, I can say Coral is superior than Cacteria, okay? He can become Bolting Strike Chainer, Provoker, and also really strong against Demon. But yes, I can say that his normal form is kind of ordinary. But about Brave Shift form, I can say that on Brave Shift form, he is quite interesting because I can say that he is probably the strongest Chainer we have on this game because his bolting strike chain can deal 200 times damage per cast and because he is a triple caster that means 600 times per turn and that's pretty hot for a chainer and remember you can spam it every turn unlike jumper and other characters but yes i have mentioned jumper and other damage dealer who use lb okay you are not restricted to a chainer to deal damage so why if you already have let's say Noctis and other evoker I don't think even when Coral is this powerful I don't think he gonna surpass those characters okay other than Bolting Strike he also able to chain with Protector's Bayonet and I think the biggest regret I mean not regret okay, the biggest weakness of Coral is the Bolting Strike Chain which is very strong is locked to Dark Element so again it's kind of meh okay so it's all up to you but I don't I don't like the character who is locked to certain element unless they are really powerful okay sure I can say he is powerful but 600 times damage per turn it is great but nothing get breaking because if you remember Noctis jump can deal much higher damage than 600 times per turn I know two turns set up but again for burst damage Coral is not that special okay and if you search for breaker just go for Cacteria that's for Coral and for the Trustmaster and STMR I can say they are also kind of niche and not that important First, the Trust Master reward, it is nice to have magic and physical demon killer. Those are nice. But for the STMR whip, whoa, whip, who uses whip? And remember, this has dark element. I really confused, guys. His bolting strike chain already have built in dark element. So why they decide to have dark element on this stmr i really hate equipment like this okay so wow it's kind of niche so yeah it is not recommended for you to chase the stmr so that's for coral now let's talk about the next new vision diverti so diverti is quite interesting character okay first of all his normal form is a magic tank okay he can chain with Bolting Strike and Protector's Bayonet and the special thing is the damage based on your spirit stats so yes you don't need to worry about your defensive when you become a tanker because you can deal and defense at the same time okay very nice and he also very strong in secular uh, I can say that in secular is kind of rare on this game but yes and for support, he has 75% magic mitigation which lasts for 4 turns. And because the cooldown ability is 4 turns, 
That means you can maintain those 75% magic mitigation as long as the enemy doesn't dispel the buff. So I can say, pretty nice. And on the Brave Shift form, his role is totally different. On Brave Shift form, he becomes an evoker. Okay, this is nice. Okay, he becomes like your evoker, like Terra, Faris, Luna Freya, but the element is different core uh, i mean diverty specialized on earth element but again there is one weakness i guess for this earth evoker because this limit burst is not a finisher it is a protector's bayonet chaining family it is not necessarily a bad thing but just imagine this if you use or i mean evoker as your finisher that means they get the full benefit of chain modifier cap increase because it is only one hit attack, right? As long as you land the attack above 20 hit elemental chain, you are good. But for this diverty, remember it is Protector's Bayonet. So I can say the damage will be built up, okay? Not all the damage gonna be multiplied because let's say below 20 hits yeah the first 10 hits uh it will be less i mean it it is still building the damage on the early hit yes maybe the last hit gonna deal the most damage but still that mean it is not maximized as a finisher yeah as a finisher attack okay and yes he is a dual wield but the, another problem is he doesn't have 200% chain modifier. So only 100%, that means you need that lightning, save your also lightning STMR. And again, his weapon is 100 niche, throwing weapon. Whoa. So it is not bad throwing weapon, okay? If you have his STMR, he is good to go, but that means you need his STMR. And I think because he is a dual wielder, you need two of them. I'm not sure whether there will be exclusive weapon for him. It is good if there is one, but if there is nothing something like that, that means you need two of his STMR. Niche weapon for niche character and his limit burst probably not as powerful as mentioned characters before. Maybe, okay, this is simply preview. So that's for Diverty. Now let's talk about the 5 to 7 stars characters. Conch. I don't know how to call her, okay? Conch? Conchi? Whatever, okay? But the point here is I can say she is quite interesting buffer. And yes, she may only max at 7 stars, but as a support, I can say that's okay. First, you're able to give your party nice buff. Okay, she's able to imbue water, thunder, dark element, so it is nice for dark vision. And she also imperil those elements by 120% of those resists. Okay, of the elemental resist, I mean one one element based on what you pick to imbue. And also increase the damage by 15%. So it's kind of like realm, I can say, but it is three elements, so very nice. And she also able to give 100% demon killer to all allies, limit burst damage, and 230% all sets buff. So I can say it is really nice setup if you fight against demon or need those elements. And her trust master reward, I can say that it is also quite nice because it gives you it gives all allies 300% all sets buff. But again. I, I'm not sure about singing, but on the past, when you sing, you cannot do anything else. Okay, I haven't used any singer on past one year or past two years, so I'm not sure how they work today, but this Trust Mastery Word only equipable for certain character. That's kind of annoying, and if it is the truth, you cannot do anything else then it's kind of maybe not that worthy okay 
because sure 300% buffs are nice but I think the best defensive tool right now is mitigation not the stats buff sure they are still useful but yeah I believe you understand what I say okay and for the STMR it's also kind of niche instrumental weapon attack 170 spirit also spirit so meh in my opinion okay so that's all for the characters now the final question should you summon I can say that yes you should summon if you want the best bolting strike chainer on the game so yes uh, coral is insane okay 200 times damage per cast 600 times yes the most powerful chainer on the game at this point and for the evoker like you know that evoker is really powerful and we already have fire water and wind so this time it is for earth element and yes they try something different so finally protectors bayonet gonna be useful okay because on the past year protectors bayonet is interesting but it's kind of like meh it's nice but yeah not a must not a must have chaining family but because diverty limit burst on privacy form protectors bayonet suddenly become important okay and conchi or conch or whatever she is really nice support for dark vision that's all i can say okay but again don't summon if sure sure coral is really strong bolting strike chainer 600 times damage per turn you can spam that every turn but again first he is locked to dark element so he is kind of like noctis but talking about noctis sure noctis is also locked to light element but his jump damage is pretty insanely powerful okay wow kaboom it will probably score nice i mean maximum damage on dark vision but for for coral i don't think so maybe in the long run they gonna deal about the same damage maybe okay because remember that coral can spam this every turn while Noctis jump gonna wait dealing damage yes there's a delay but talking about burst it's clear that Noctis is still superior and for diverty I already have said that the evoke damage probably gonna be inferior because it needs to build up its damage through chaining okay but that's simply my thought okay i never do the calculation so let me know if you play the japan version is diver team meta or not but after looking on his abilities i don't think so okay and yes conchi may be interesting but oh i don't need that specific buffer okay for let's say dark element i already have madam edel yeah basically what i want to say is if you already have another character who able to do let's say dark elemental imbue and other elements you probably don't need conch sure she is nice but it's okay it's okay if you miss her i mean okay so i think that's all you need to know about this week banner i can say that it is very easy week to skip but that's just me okay I still prefer Fifi and Stainer if you ask me but again I probably gonna save my Lapis not sure until when maybe until anniversary but I hear that they gonna bring uh, Legend of Mana collaboration units to the global so maybe I will spend some on that banner but again yes i don't think i will spend anything on this banner okay thank you very much for watching press the like button and subscribe to my channel for more final fantasy private cs guide bye bye guys